Good morning. It's Marcus Conti reporting on the the bomber, the ten bombs, the ten real bombs, bombs, b- 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 bombs, bombs everywhere. So I want to get in front of this story. Yesterday I went down to the uh, Time Warner building, went to the Messenger Center, trying to see how one would get a message into the CNN building because after all, CNN uh, reported and the the New York Times reported that uh, the CNN bomb, the bomb that was delivered to CNN, was delivered via courier, right? Somebody brought the bomb into the building, right? So how does one do that? They do it through the messenger center. So I went down there. I showed you all the cameras that was published in the New York Times. Let's look at the New York Times article. See the lovely New York Times. They're so, they're so thorough in what they do, right? They give us all this, all this evidence, right? I see this piece right here, you see? I'll read it for you, right? It says, The device that went to CNN's office, offices arrived by courier, a law enforcement, law enforcement official said. However, it still had half a dozen first-class stamps on it. Investigators believe the bomb delivered to Mr. Soros' home was dropped off in the mailbox. Right? So that's two cases of right? New York Times reporting. Let's look at the date. What is the date? Right, all those beautiful pictures. Oh, look at a big crime scene in New York. Right, New York Times reporting on the 24th, I believe. Right, let's see what the date is. Right, so it was a few days ago. I know this is clumsy. What are you gonna do? It's fucking. Right, what time? What date does that say? Right, I think it's the 24th. Right, so so a few days ago they reported this. Right, now. Right? So I run down there and do it. Now you're starting to see a narrative switch, right? Here's the bait and switch. Here's what you gotta watch for. You gotta watch these guys. You gotta, oh, you gotta hold them to it, right? Because I saw a little piece on Reuters that they're now trying to switch the narrative, right? Like, like an hour after I was down there exposing that, suddenly Reuters puts out a piece. I, I couldn't find it, but maybe they took it down. But I saw something where Reuters was saying, oh, no, no, they were all mailed. So are we having an influence? Is this kind of reporting have an influence? You bet your ass it has an influence. Because we're exposing them for the frauds that they are. Right. Here's another interesting uh, communication. I wanna, I'm going to play a piece by uh, Trey Gowdy, uh, too. Because the CNN package is interesting because it was addressed to John Brennan, the CIA guy, right? This is CIA shit. CIA, they're fucking liars. They're storytellers. They're... They're, they're, they, they're tradecraft artists, right? They create these narratives. And John, and John Brennan is right in the center of it. This is an interesting communication. This is um, CNN Worldwide. Jeff Zucker says, There is a total and complete lack of understanding at the White House about the seriousness of their continued attacks on the media. The president... And especially the White House press secretary should understand their words matter. Thus far, they have no comprehension of that. Jeff Sucker, president of CNN Worldwide. Look how beautiful Jeff Sucker. Oh, he's so important. He's such an important guy. Hold on a second. Let me put this shit on right here. I think if I do this, you'll be able to see it. Ah, there it is. Clear. See? That's Jeff Zucker. The wonderful Jeff Zucker reporting. Right now, is it true? Hold on a second. Am I out of focus? There I am. Ah, there I am. So, um, right? So what did so so Jeff Zucker saying that the president doesn't understand his influence on the media? I beg to differ. I think Trump knows exactly what he's saying. Right? So this is interesting. A big part of the anger we see today. Now this is this is this is what Trump said. Right? You heard what Zucker said. Now listen to what Trump said. A very big part of the anger we see today in our society is caused by the purposely false and inaccurate reporting of mainstream media that I refer to as fake news. It has gotten so bad and hateful that it is beyond description. Mainstream media must clean up its act fast. President of the United States. That's the President of the United States of these great states right there, President of the United States saying it, right? And above it is Jackoff Brennan, right? Brennan, the CIA operative, 
Stop blaming others. Look in the mirror. Your inflammatory rhetoric, insults, lies, and encouragement of physical violence are disgraceful. Clean up your act. Try to act presidential. The, pres the American people deserve much better. By the way, your critics will not in be intimidated into silence. Right, the, guy's a, the guy is like a hit. He's, a, he's an attack dog, right? And so the president is exposing the fake media, right? They don't do their job, right? CNN, a bomb is delivered to the door, and they don't, have, they don't release a photograph of the, of the suspect. That's a news media? That it was, it was dropped, that the, the story was dropped on their lap? Because it's a fucking lie, right? You, you probably now, now what happens is the NYPD backs off, the FBI takes control. It's, this, is a, this is a classic, this is a classic rigged event, right? But let's look at, let's look at, uh, I got one more thing I want to show you guys. And then, then um, because Trey Gowdy, right? If you recall back, Brennan, Brandon is not a new face. He was the CIA director under Obama all the way up to 2017. This guy is a, is, a, is a Shylock, right? He was the one who fabricated a lot of the Russian narrative, right? And in this, when he was grilled on, um, in Congress, right, Trey Gowdy asks him point blank about the evidence that, that is there evidence that connects, is there collusion between Trump and, and the Russians, right? evidence actual facts not stories right so watch this this is this is really good watch the uh, can't watch it enough it's gonna pop on just give me a second and they did so without coordination collusion or conspiring with any of the candidates so they have a history of doing it we'll, we'll lay that aside let's watch 2016 electoral process when you learned of russian efforts did you have evidence of a connection between the Trump campaign and Russian state actors? As I said, Mr. Gowdy, I don't do evidence. I don't do evidence. We were uncovering information and intelligence about uh, interactions and contacts between U.S. persons. I mean, just stop right there for, for a second. Stop. Oh, come on, don't, don't do this to me. Stop. I appreciate that you don't do evidence, Director Brennan. Um, that's all right, so so he, there's the, the the director of the CIA. Right, a congressman is asking him about the evidence, and he says, "I don't do evidence." I mean, what kind of country are we living in? I mean, that's that's obscene that he said that. I mean, it's it's just. As I said, Mr. Gabby, I don't do evidence. I don't do evidence. We were uncovering information and intelligence about interactions and contacts between U.S. persons. And the Russians, and as we came upon that, we would share it with the bureau. I appreciate that you don't do evidence, Director Brennan. Um, that's what I do. That's the word we use. You use the word assessment. You use the word tradecraft. I use the word evidence. Use the word tradecraft. Um, and the good news for me is, lots of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle use the word evidence too. Um, one of my colleagues said there is more than circumstantial evidence of collusion between the Russians and the Trump campaign. They did. Now, uh, there are only two types of evidence. They're circumstantial and direct. So if it's more than circumstantial, by necessity, it has to be direct. Those aren't my words. Those are the words of one of my colleagues on the other side of this very committee. Another Democrat colleague on the other side of this committee also used the word evidence, that he has seen evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians. And yet a third California Democrat said she had seen... But he no doesn't evidence do evidence. ...of collusion. So that's three different members of Congress from the same state using the same word, which is evidence. And that's the word that my fellow citizens understand, evidence. Assessment the courts, is, too. Is your Not just your citizens. Tradecraft is your vernacular. You and I both know what the word evidence means. And we're not getting into whether or not you corroborated, contradicted, examined, cross-examined. We're Look not at him getting squirm. into how you tested and probed the reliability of that evidence. It's a really simple question. Did evidence exist of collusion, coordination, conspiracy between the Trump campaign and Russian state actors at the time you learned of 2016 efforts? So that's pretty powerful, right? Trey Gowdy, a good that, that was my report. If you want to watch it, it's it's there. It's, but it, but anyway, so so here's the here's the see this that's what people need to understand about 
the players in this thing. When you say, oh, deep state, oh, the deep state. What is the deep state? It's characters like this that have hijacked the legal system. Right? They've short-circuited the legal system where the courts don't matter anymore. They got these guys, operatives, that create narratives and sell it to the public. It's, it's propaganda, right? A story like, like the, this, this bomb thing, right? They still haven't delivered us to Patsy yet. Patsy meaning the fall guy. Who's going to, eventually they'll come up with a story. Now, if this, if, first of all, if this story was real, they would have already apprehended the guy, right? Because I just told you that there's evidence that CNN is, is, is complicit in this, in that they reported to the, that the New York Times reported that a courier dropped off the package to a news media. And, and CNN failed to deliver that evidence to the public. Right? Complicit. They're complicit in the, in the behavior. Now, if they changed it, so, so now there's collusion between New York Times and CNN, right? You, you see what's going on here? And who's, who's in the center of it? The master illusionists, the John Brannan CIA guy, right? That's, that's what's going on right now in your country, right? And so for, for Trump, when Trump steps back and says the media is causing this this problem in the country he's right he's absolutely right now this trump talked out of both sides of his mouth yeah yeah he does but in this case in this scenario if we had an honest media then we wouldn't have many of the many of the gaslighting uh gaslighted citizens that we have right now the people don't know up or down left or right we don't even know who to oh okay so so let me let me let me try to figure out the psychosis of this. So the bomber sends bombs to the Democrats. So that means that the that the that that's a a, a Trump Republican sending to the Democrats because they now the now the mainstream media is going to create the hate. See, it's the Trump people. They hate us. They want to blow us up. Right? Is that the idea? I I don't know. Is it? <laughs> I mean, there's so many because. Unless you watch mainstream media, it doesn't, that sort of thing is just plain stupid. But to many people, because they're not telling you, they're not giving you the facts, they're not giving you the evidence, they're just saying bombs were sent. Obama, oh, we love Obama. Clinton, oh, we love Hillary, right? And, and they don't look at the, the, the evidence surrounding it, that who's creating this story? It's the, it's, it, it appears to be the mainstream media, and it, it now appears that the FBI is, is standing off, right? Because they let's see what they deliver. Let's see what kind of patsy they deliver. Is the story believable from that point, right? But right there, why, CNN is complicit, right? Absolutely, right? New York Times reported, package delivered via courier. Where's the picture of the courier? Who is the courier? Where's the address? Who dropped the package off to the courier? Pow, they got five minutes they could figure that out. F ten, five minutes. That's and if I, I, some guy with long hair walking around in front of CNN has to figure it out, and the FBI can't figure it out. All these days later, somebody drops a package at Soros' house, right? At Soros' house, and there's no plate, there's no car rental, there's no bus ticket, there's no guy walking up sticking a. It's not believable, is what I'm trying to say. The story has so many holes in it, right? And you see how, like, if, if the Reuters story is true, where they're, where, where they're trying to unwind this part of the story, it, it's, again, com complicity. Who, they reported this. The New York Times reported this. So that's all. This is, this is ongoing. We're going to continue to... We're going to... I mean, it's like you got to call out the fake news because we don't have news anymore. We don't have a real media. We have a, a propaganda machine. Driven by the oligarchy. Who's paying for it? Always follow the money. I mean, because that is ultimately, I mean, if, you know, I don't know. You guys think I'm like some kind of fucking prophet or some shit. I don't know what's going on here. But all I'm doing is I'm looking at the, I look at the evidence, right? And it, it's, it's clear that you follow the money. These media organizations are, they've gone beyond yellow journalism. Yellow journal, journalism used to be, journalism with a slight tilt this is not even that anymore this is complete story propaganda 
tradecraft where they're trying to create these they used to do this in the third world create you know like 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 oh the fake enemy is approaching and 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 you know it, this is these are war tactics right cia fbi tradecraft being used on the american people you know and i've had discussions i mean disturbing discussions with people that right now call people who watch me do it try, try it for yourself call people that that get their news from CNN and MSNBC and the rest, even Fox, and listen to what they're telling you. Try to listen, try to understand, and try not to get angry with what they're telling you about how how they're interpreting this story, right? Right? Because because that's all they have. They have mainstream media telling them, "See, oh yeah, the bombs were delivered all over the place," but they don't they don't care to look at the facts. That they're not actual bombs. They're like they're like crude Roman candles with a fucking clock taped on the back of it, right? It's like a joke, right? Someone sent out 10 joke bombs, probably went down to the firecracker store, you know, cut open a couple of Roman candles, stuffed it in there. It's, it's a bullshit. It's bullshit, right? The whole thing is bullshit. But the, uh, does it create fear if someone actually, like, you know, De Niro got, a, you know, one of these packages sent to his, his restaurant? That's not cool, you know, because that, that could scare the shit out of the guy that opens that. I mean, you open a bomb like that and you don't know what's... you shit in your pants. <laughs> guy probably had to go home. He shit in his pants. I mean, oh, fucking, fucking bomb. Oh, my God. Fucking shit in his pants. Uh, but it... I mean, okay, yeah, the fear the fear part of it works, but who's behind it? Who's behind it? All right, so the you know, CIA makes a calculated decision. All right, so a guy in a restaurant shits his pants. Big, big deal. But we got the story. We got the story. Right. So let's wait for the um let's wait for the Patsy to, to appear. Let's wait for for Lee Harvey Harvey Oswald, the, the the fall guy. Oh, they got him. They got him. Are they gonna kill him? Uh, yeah, probably. I mean they shoot out. They cornered the oh, they cornered him, they got him. Oh, they surrounded the building. Oh, there's, a, there's three of them. Oh, we got them, and they dragged the dead bodies out. Could go that way. Oh, they got them. Oh, they got them. Oh, they're going to question them. Oh, they're going to question them. They're questioning, questioning, questioning them, questioning them. And then oh, then he fucking hangs himself in the... in the, in the oh, uh, uh. All because there's an election, right? November 6th, it's not... Again, the, the elections are rigged, but it's manufacturing consent, right? They're going to try to pin all of this on because Trump hates they're still running with that one and trump hates and russia hates and it's trump and russia hating right it's so that they get the ignorant democrats to vote for their side of the corrupt aisle as opposed to the the trump's republican red corrupt side of the aisle right that that dualistic politics that has failed us for for years and years and years and continues to violate us for years and years all right so that's it for me for now marcus conti reporting